Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome back to Tech Tested. I recently upgraded from a 1080p monitor to a 1440p monitor, and that might have been a really bad idea. So about a year ago, I upgraded from my R9 390 to a 5700 XT because I wanted my game of choice, Arc, to run butter smooth at 1080p with all the details cranked up, and I couldn't accomplish that on my R9 390. But I had a little bit of money left over, so I thought, well, why don't I upgrade my monitor too? It will look a lot better at a higher resolution, right? Wrong. The problem comes in when I had to push that many more pixels, the upgrade I made, which was roughly double the performance, ended up being completely negated by the higher monitor resolution. And today we're gonna demonstrate that for you so you guys can understand what upgrading your graphics card will do for you and what upgrading your monitor will or may not do for you. So what we're gonna to do to demonstrate that today is we're going to run a benchmark on the R9 390 at 1080p. Then we're going to run the same benchmark on my 5700 XT at 1080p, and then we are going to do it once more at 1440p so we can see how the increase in resolution scale affects graphical performance. We are going to make sure that we have all the same settings. We have uh, presets set to custom, DirectX 11, quality ultra, and we're gonna turn on tessellation. Now um, we'll set that to normal. Um, everything else will be disabled, anti-aliasing we will set to 4x at 1080p and then we're gonna hit run. All right, we got our results with the R9 390 and now we're gonna do our 5700 XT runs. All right, we've got our 5700 XT in and we're about to do our 1080p run. We just did our 1080p run on the 5700 XT, netting over 60 frames per second more than the R9 390, almost doubling our performance. Now we're gonna do our 1440p run. And the results are in. Our R9 390 at 1080p posted a relatively okay 73 frames per second on average. Our 5700 XT at 1080p ran at an awesome 136 frames per second, but when we cranked that up to 1440p, it dropped it down to 84 frames per second, which is better than the R9 390 did at 1080p, but it's still not the performance boost I was looking for when I upgraded my graphics card. Now there are some caveats to consider. Some people prefer to play at a higher resolution with a lower graphical settings in their games, but I personally like to run with the higher graphical settings and I can tolerate a lower resolution. Now that's up to you. Another thing to consider is if you get a 1440p monitor and you want to play at 1080p, downgrading does come with a kickback you get a very grainy visual instead of that rich fullness that comes with running at your native resolution. And that's something that's very, very difficult to tolerate when you spend all that money on that new hardware. So was it worth it for me to upgrade from 1080p to 1440p? No, what I should have done is spent the extra money that I would have saved by going with a 1080p monitor and got some more of the features that I would really like. This monitor only runs at 75 Hertz, which considering I can't play my games at a high frame rate at the settings I want isn't the end of the world. That's where I made a big mistake and I hope you guys can learn from me instead of making that mistake yourself. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our social media platforms linked in the description.